All right, so we're sitting at zero. Six hundred, seven hundred, call that seven fifty, go for eight hundred, maybe call that nine, nine fifty, maybe a thousand. So maybe eleven. Too much oil, smoking black. As you've seen, I adjusted it just before we came out, and the smoke is cleared out. All right, well today we're working on a Sweepster 48 inch sweeper. So it ran into a few issues. One of them being uh, we broke one of the drive belts. So we've been waiting on that part. We've got that now. Uh, this runs off a Honda 5.5. It is a five speed with reverse. So one, two, three, four, and fifth. We disconnected that shift linkage. Uh, the reason why is we were told this transmission was done. But what we found out was the linkage, so this is part of the shift connector. And it connects up right here. It has this square post that came out of it that sheared off. The reason that happens is the chain drive. So the chain drive, which connects off two of the sprockets here and comes around uh, under here, right down there, that sprocket. When that chain comes off of that lower sprocket over there, it would wrap around and catch this. So that's why it's all chewed up on the outsides from the chain. So it would, chain would come off, wrap around on this guy, and eventually it just broke it. So here's my attempt at a quick and dirty fix. Okay, so we attempted to drill it, seeing if we could put another screw or a bolt or something in it, nothing really worked. So we drove this little chisel in banged on her good with a hammer for a bit 
used vice grips and that was able to change the gears. So I believe I have it in the third gear uh, forward. So we're just gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave everything off of it and uh, we'll start putting it back in the machine. So as soon as I get in the machine, I'll uh, let you take a look. Okay, so to get that little transmission back in place, we flipped the unit on its side, took the tires off just to kind of give it uh, less weight. So here it's in place. We got the brake hooked up, the new belt in place. We just have to feed this chain around. So coming to this side, you can see it's got a lower belt and an upper belt. So your lower belt drives your chain drive. The chain drive drives the sweeper. Your upper belt, which comes off the same piece here, goes up here, that's what drives your transmission. So it should be in third gear, we're hoping, but won't really know until we start it up and check it out. So in here you can see the chain is on its drive which drives your sweeper when it would come off the shift linkage was down in here so the chain would come off and then wrap around it taking it with it so we're going to get these tires back on flip it uh, right side up or I guess put the lower plate back on flip it over start her up and see what happens stay tuned